But as soon as a black man gets in the fucking news about some shit, he goes to jail. They find enough motherfucking evidence to bam his ass. It's life threatening for a black man. It would not be a episode if the fucking TV did not come on. Podcast. I'm Ayo Canseco, fearless leader of Ayo Nation. I was damn near sleep. I feel, uh, and then I see Carter B talking about the blogs. Um, she come out by the hole and all this good shit like this. Um, and let's talk about blog. Let's talk about negativity. I want, I want, since and, and and you know, this is why sometimes you should uh. You should probably, you know what I'm saying, know your position, know your placement, know where you at. Let's talk about this shit, dog. Let's talk about this shit. Uh, we got. I. I. I wasn't. I wasn't. I wasn't intending on doing this. Welcome back to the Big Facts Podcast. I'm Ao Canseco, fearless leader of Ao Nation uh, and the Men Two Movement. And this is Are You Fucking Serious? Um, Cardi B is, is, is running with this whole uh, uh, the shade room shit, and and she asked that she proposed the question. Um, how can you get mad at Lifetime and, 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 and TMZ for posting all the negative shit about black people or black artists and shit like that and not posting the positive shit? But how can you get mad at them for posting the, the negative shit when the only thing that we gravitate to is negativity? First off, let's, let's rock with that shit. It is the human... Um, I, today I just saw, uh, this morning, I just saw um, a Arabic or some fucking, you know what I'm saying... Seemed like it was Arabic or some reality TV show, and they were all in the house together, kind of like 
um, y'all probably too young to know about road rules. What was it? Did the, the uh, uh, real life and road rules? You remember that shit? They did a, a the the, re, the the beginning of fucking reality TV show, road rules and y'all gonna tell me that shit. But y'all remember that shit? Uh, it was this when people stop being fake and start being real. This is real life. You know what I'm saying? It was the first fucking reality TV show. But, um, dog, the Arabic people was in that bitch. You know what I'm saying? And them motherfuckers were beefing. And that shit was extremely interesting. You know what I'm saying? It's just, we are, as Americans, and I think as humans, you know what I'm saying? Since the beginning, the very beginning, we have been attracted to negativity. You know what I'm saying? It is up. That's what the flesh brings. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, oh, shit. Fuck, I'm not supposed to do that. Let me do it. This is where all the bullshit comes from. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's been proven. Uh, shout out to Doc Hicks. Shout out to the the, the biggest nigga is uh, Tony DeLaramie. You know what I'm saying? Uh, TD Hip Hop Media. Go subscribe to his channel. Um, he, got, he has a show called What's Good. And, and where he talks about the good shit that 50 Cent, Puff Daddy, and everybody does. He really posts that shit. And them motherfuckers don't get nearly as much um, fucking um, views as and, uh, uh, Relatable All Ball do the same thing. He'll post some good shit, whatever like that. And I'll be, watch, I, I'll be looking at the shit. And of course, I don't watch the shit. You know what I'm saying? I'll be looking at the shit, but I see what they doing. It's like, let me... I, and I don't really know if it's them trying to make it to where their channel isn't just, you know how a nigga do something good just to say, nigga, go look at this shit. Nigga, I did a, I did plenty of goddamn uh, good videos. But I know Tony DeLamry isn't doing it for that reason. And I'm sure Relatable Harbaugh and, and Doc Kicks ain't doing it for that reason either because they actually took their time to do a fucking video on something good. But no one watches those fucking videos. And it, and it throws us back to where we're at with this whole thing. Um, a person, you know what I'm saying? And that's, that's really, I, I just really killed the whole video right then. I just killed it because nobody, like, it's just, it's just real talk. It's just, it's like, this is this world. And... I can turn the camera off right now because I, I don't, I can't, I can't be intellectually dishonest and go forward and say, I don't understand why this person, you know what I'm saying, does this when this is the only thing that will sell, period. It's the only thing that'll sell, honestly. Um, if you did not... But this is where the hypocrisy comes in at. Um, from one devil to another, you can't tell that devil that they're more devilish. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you didn't get inside of this entertainment, the entertainment business is about entertainment, not about being positive, period, point blank. Um, it's good for you to say, hey, yeah, I'm doing negative, but I'm giving back to the people. But you're no different than uh, uh, Bumpy Johnson selling dope all in the fucking projects and shit like that, but then passing out turkeys during Thanksgiving. It's like, my nigga, if you didn't destroy our neighborhood, we wouldn't need you to pass out turkeys. We can buy our own turkeys. You understand? Um, just like... Niggas get sent to prison off of Jeezy, Gucci, Boosie, Master P, BG, um, and Future, me, Future, um, back when Pluto dropped, obviously, um, but there, I'm sure there's bitches who have gotten pregnant and had to get, uh, and have miscarriages, uh, off of Cardi B, the city girls, you know what I'm saying, that whole promoting the whole culture type of shit, and, Maybe it's me just being, uh, I'm just being a fucking man and, and, uh, because I don't see. Not really though. Not really though. Um, maybe it's just me being a father, um, to a, a little girl. That's why I find it so fucking disgusting when these 
nothing ass bitches will go out this motherfucker, man, and promote this fucking whole culture. But then it's like, it's on the parent also. Are you going to allow your child to listen to music that's like this? You understand? So it's like, I, I'm not going to just, oh man, it's all they fault and shit like that. No, I, I believe that if you are a parent and you allow your child to listen to the city girls, you got a five-year-old daughter and you're letting them be brainwashed and let their mind just be molded. You know what I'm saying? And I'm moving back and forth to show how the brain moves when it's being brainwashed. You know what I'm saying? You just allow them to be just brainwashed and, and let them see this shit. You'll see little girls. We've seen it. We've seen the little girls on these videos who act like the city girls who try to act like Cardi B. I just showed, I showed y'all. Go to my Instagram. I showed y'all the little girl um, when the mama put the weave on the child and then she was happy playing with the shit, whatever like that. And then when she take it off, the child get mad and she got them little... Uh, tree stumps on her head and shit like that looking like little Kodak and shit because they don't care what the fuck is going on with their real here just make sure the fake shit good these bitches are more nurturing with this fake shit than this, their actual Carter B is saying that you cannot get mad at TMZ and um, um, Lifetime for trying to destroy R. Kelly and them. Totally missing. Totally missing. The fucking mark. Motherfuckers don't have no problem with negativity. We have a problem with disproportionate. Negativity. And the results and consequences to those fucking stories. A media story now today, these times, 2019, is damn near um, equivalent to a fucking indictment. That is the beginning of a fucking dog. This shit started with motherfuckers making a fucking documentary, motherfucking whispers about R. Kelly, and that shit turned into a real fucking court case. A motherfucker went to jail and had to spend money to bond out about a fucking... After the fact! Fuck what you saying, man! But see, this is my issue. These people, the nabs, and everybody else, the only victims, the true victims of the media are black men. We get in the fucking news and we go to jail. You get in the news and you get embarrassed. Woody Allen, Cardi B, Elvis. Just. But as soon as a black man gets in the fucking news about some shit, he goes to jail. They find enough motherfucking evidence to bam his ass. It's life threatening for a black man. It would not be a episode if the fucking TV did not come on. So that that's so I and I don't mean to to trip like that but to hear someone fuss and whine about bad stories being publicized when we are 
losing our lives. I'm supposed to say lives. We're losing our lives because of a story being wrote. Cardi B, you don't have the right um, to speak about negativity when that's what you excrete. You're not, you are not the bastion of light. Um, and let me get on that before I get on makeup and weave because we have to talk about that because in this video she was, I, I guess, bare. And every time she goes bare, it reminds me of a um, of a, a, a compilation I've seen. I'm sure you've seen the compilation too of the um, of the women before and after their surgeries. Before their surgeries, you would not you would not see them. I'm telling you, you wouldn't even see them after the surgery. They are. You know what I I, I really saw in those before and after pictures. I saw. The type of camera, you know, it, that's that's the biggest thing. Like the production of it before the surgery, the picture is fucking, you know what I'm saying? Real grainy, just a real, not even a fucking uh, a camera phone. It's fucking one of my old school fucking, you know what I'm saying? The after picture, this motherfucker is posing for a magazine cover. It's like. And it's like, what, 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 who, who does that, who is that fallacy, uh, who does that fallacy, whose feet does that fallacy fall upon? Um, the bitch or the people? Because if you think about it, it's like, why the fuck wouldn't a bitch get surgery? Like, look how people treat me beforehand. They wouldn't even see me. Now, motherfuckers try to see me. They try to stalk me and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, who wouldn't want that transformation? Um, but like I said, it's, it's the flesh, it's this world, it's, it's really what it is. And those of us who would like to, you know what I'm saying, change this shit, it's just like you're going against the world. That's why you get so much pushback. You get so much people will tell you that they, they fuck with what you're doing, but motherfuckers is in the world. They live in a worldly life and shit like that, and it's just what it is. Um, and if you want to change the world, you have to understand this. That if you come to a person um, speaking about positivity and change, they're not going to deny you right there. Um, they're going to agree with you. But they're not, it's not going to go past you talking to them. That's why you have to insert yourself in different ways. You have to find different tactics of change and shit. Um, so, um... But let's let's talk about um the negativity. Cardi B, um what you talk about, um and who you are Fuck all that. Let's do this. We don't have to do the semantics. Let's do this. I guess my biggest issue is... Dog. If you did not mind... This, 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 this is what it is. It's, it's the... Um, um, who's a good example? That that woman. That woman who got... If y'all seen this, it was the, the sergeant in the army. She was at a gas station in a, uh, some type of road rage incident... And a white lady came out and tried to beat her up at a gas station. And then uh, she stabbed the white lady in the leg, whatever like that. She's a sergeant in the army and shit. Um, when the police got there, they arrested the black, uh, the sergeant of the army and, and treat the white lady. Everybody, oh man, look at this racial profiling bullshit, whatever. The girl let out, whatever like that. They find out, you know, what's going on and shit like that. But you go on her fucking social media... And you see that all that she talks about is how racism doesn't exist. 
I, um, I, just, just stop fucking attacking the police. The police always do the right thing. What the fuck? You know what I'm saying? If you fucking pretty much saying everything but white power. But now after the event, your Black Lives Matter. And this is what this is. As long as the shade room and all of these gossip publications, this is the fuck. This is what they live off of. This is the magazine in, in, in Walmart right there by the aisle or right there by the, the checkout line um, where they talk about uh, uh, trouble in the White House. Um, trouble in the king kingdom. Uh, uh, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry, whatever the fuck this dude name is, breaking up. This is all they talk about. They're gossip blogs. This is what the fuck. And this is why motherfuckers say that Cardi B is a crybaby. But every uh, female fucking. You know what I'm saying? Star is damn near. I can't say that. I take. I retract that statement. I retract that fucking statement. No. Everybody is not built to be a fucking celebrity. Um, as much as they say about Oprah, there are some people that will not stoop to that level. Like they understand that these motherfuckers are are mud driving. They're just just. But that's their job to fuck around in the dirt in the in the in the you know what I'm saying that's all they do and you'll have these gossip blogs like the shade room and whatever gossip city whatever the fuck these motherfuckers name is that will post every week they'll post something positive oh a black girl receives five scholarships to the greatest colleges in the United States history oh black boy um uh receives his doctrine and shit like that. You go black power they have to post that positive shit so that they can do the negative shit. That's the same reason why Offset gives to these African people and shit like that. So it doesn't just look like that's the same reason why Bumpy Johnson gave turkeys. What the fuck nigga? Somebody didn't hit me with a goddamn Mickey. But um, they have to do it. So it doesn't seem one-sided. Like you're not just an eat. Like you have to be able to. And, and plus the fact it's a fucking tax write-off. You pretty much have to fucking give to a charity. You don't have to believe in it. And, and pretty much your people choose it. Like your accountant and shit like that. That's their fucking job. To like your publicist. Make me look good to the fucking people. Hey, we got to find something that, that aligns with what you talk about. Hey, we found... Like, that's just the way of the fucking world. But here's the issue. You speak upon the black lady, Sergeant. Uh, black Lives Matter and shit like that. Like, you didn't believe that shit. Hold on. Like, the only reason you're saying... Racism wasn't an issue until it hit you. This is the point. Gossip blogs... You, no, you don't go to church expecting to see the city girls performing, which actually happened, oddly enough. It's not what you go there for. You know what I'm saying? Like, the city girls aren't... I can't say that because they did. Just because you're here doesn't mean that you change... You, you get to change everything. This is how the shit goes. This is their job. This is what they fucking do. It's just your turn in the hot seat. It's just your turn. Everybody isn't built to be great. Katrina Gibbs, like I said, you know, this, I, I, I refer to her so fucking much because it, it just, she said this shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, and it's just so mature, um, Sometimes I don't respond in the most mature way. Um, why in the fuck would you respond 
to rumors is what's supposed to happen. Like your core fans don't give a fuck about that shit. So you're responding to people that don't like you anyway. And I think the difference between Ariana Grande and um, Cardi B is just the team they, uh, just the genres they're in. You know, if, if, if you look at it, over here on this side, you'll have people over here with the gossip blog saying shit about Ariana Grande. And, and that's just what it is. Some publication, and that's just really what, as I'm thinking about it, that's really just what it is. Some publications thrive off negativity. Some publications are all about the positive shit. Um, you won't see these negative publications at the doctor's office and shit like that. Um, the magazines and shit like that. You won't see that shit. You know what I'm saying? Um, you might see them at the front of the, the um, or at the gas station or some shit like that, but you won't see them. There's a there's a time and place for all that shit, and it's just what it is. Um, it's business. If people will buy it, they're gonna keep on producing it. But you as a star, and it goes back into my theory, which says that this rap genre is more of a fucking. It's a blood sport. It's a circus. It is the gladiator, uh, what is it, the, the Roman cathedral, whatever the fuck like that, where motherfuckers just want to see blood. So, the people up top, they don't, all they do is give us entertainment. They're not going to pick the people who are going to be scientific in the way they handle situations. They're going to go straight to their social media because that's what's entertaining. When, um, when... Uh, Mona Scott is uh, casting uh, for the new love and hip hop. She's not going to pick um, a upstanding. She doesn't like when these hoes be doing those casting call shits when they send in they fucking I'm not the bitch for that shit. You know what I'm saying? That's how they rock. Like they not going to you know what? They might, and actually, they might throw one of them smarty pants holes up in there just so it can get fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's about, we want to see blood. And we've shown them, as a people, we've shown them. And when I say we, of course, I'm not talking about me, but if it, the world was full of me's, then love and hip-hop wouldn't be popping. So I understand that just because I don't watch it, that don't mean that, you know what I'm saying, it's a hit, dog. It's a hit. So we have a pe as a people in general have shown that we love that type of shit. We love it. And because we love it so much, people that are trying to get into the entertainment industry, they're how the fuck don't you understand that this is what you're gonna have to subject yourself to? Mud chucking. This is this is Politics in its most concentrated form. Politicians usually wait until, you know, it's time for election to start throwing mud on each other. Fuck no. Mona Scott and our hip hop fucking culture have concentrated that shit to the, the last two months or last two weeks before election day. Um, they just encompass that shit and put that shit on TV at seven o'clock. You know what I'm saying? Every Friday. And it's a hit. Because we, we love to see controversy be problems. We love to see it because it takes our mind off of our problems. What, what we know back in the Roman days, whatever like that, um, the people were starving and shit like that. So the fucking king or whatever the fuck, this nigga, whatever the fuck, they threw the fucking gladiator fights. So you can see... How these motherfuckers are getting destroyed. And he's like, oh shit. Comparing my life to his. I'm not doing that bad. Give them blood. And they'll forget about everything else. But then they go back home to their fucked up ass life. Best way to control the people is to keep them dumb. I never forgot that. I never. I don't know what. I should know. I think it was Coach Ponder. 
You want to control the people, keep them dumb. There's no fucking way that we are not being controlled. We are we are pretty much at our dumbest form right now. Um, quiet. As sad as it is, as sad as it is, it's what it is. It's really what it is right now. Um, so, Cardi, this is your time um, in the spotlight. Um, believe it or not, your beef with the um, blogs and shit like that. Stop talking about me and shit like that. I don't know. I I, I want to say it, it, it's 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 good for your career, or whatever like that, because you you seem problematic and shit like that. But you're gonna end up just like everybody else. You know what I'm saying? Just like everybody else. Your time is going because like you're not a boss. You're a fucking puppet. Motherfucker can use you, abuse you, and throw you away, and you'll never know the difference. You're gonna end up broke. Actually, I'm lying like a motherfucker. You're not going to be broke. Offset going to be broke. That's going to be sad to see that shit, boy. What is that? It's going to be a sad song to see how Offset get did. Mm-mm. All that shit you talking about, Offset and my nigga and all that shit like that. I don't like that shit, neither. I just don't like that shit when that motherfucker say nigga. Um... It is it is gonna it's just gonna be what it is.